I, I never in, in my entire political career, never mind my legislative career, thought that I would stand up and utter the words that I applaud and completely support the champion of taxpayers today, Assembly Wisniewski. I, I just, I, I'm, um, on this bill, I, would the, the uh, sponsor yield to a couple of quick questions? That, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And look, I sympathize with you. I think giving our public workers more say over their investments is something we ought to look at. Um, I, I'm open to that. Uh, the Pension and Benefits Review Commission suggested that we do a form of that if we do some very broad reforms and, uh, to uh, some of Wisniewski's point, give the, the skin in the game to the people making the decisions. Uh, so uh, this maneuver has nothing to, to do with that. I've heard some people say that. It's completely anathema to that. Um, but, and, and let me also say that I consider allies and friends, uh, the folks running the, the PBA at this point, uh, and the fire folks. Uh, Pat Colligan's an ally. We work on policy together. Rob Nixon as well. Um, I'm willing to work towards giving uh, the folks who are going to, who do have skin in the game, uh, more say over their investments. So you don't need a supermajority in order to change contribution rates. Uh, and again, this gets this pivots from someone Wisniewski's point. I'm never going to get tired of saying that. Uh, that if there were irresponsible people took over this system at some point, um, supplanting the responsible ones that are there now, they could exploit this ability. They would easily have the votes to say, we don't like paying 10% of our salary. We're going to pay 1%. Now, it is true that an actuary would have to sign off. Actuary doesn't care who would have to make those payments, though. An actuary would simply say the ARC, the required contribution, the only uh, uh, variable in this equation would have to skyrocket. All same thing with, with cost of living allowances. Um, we, are, we are absolutely not just flirting with danger, but inviting serious danger with, with those two aspects of this bill alone. And the people in danger will be property taxpayers. Make no mistake about it, with the, ex with the exception in the cap of uh, uh, the, the exemption of pension payments uh, being part of the cap, being outside the cap, this could crush property taxpayers. I know that's not your intent. I think it's a, a flaw in this bill that, that we need to go back uh, and there, start there and fix uh, various other problems with the bill. Um, and I look forward to, to doing that with you.